What is this? You have no skills mentioned in your resume. You are the most incompetent employee I have ever seen. You are fired. Next. Wow, this is the most impressive resume I have ever seen. You are hired. Despite the commotion happening around layoffs and no job opening, there still seems to be an alarming shortage of tech talent across companies. In fact, a recent survey conducted by McKinsey and Company showed that more than 44% of all the major companies expect the talent shortage to become even more dire in the next five years. This shortage in tech talent along with other factors like the need for automation and rapid digitization to grow a company are all going to be massive driving forces for the rise of low-code and no-code tools and the jobs aligning to that field. $100 million companies made using no-code tools like Bloom Institute of Technology are already up and running. Even parts of Uber are developed using no-code. Sounds cool, right? So right now is the best time to get started as a no-code developer before AI makes it even more difficult to squeeze in. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started as a no-code developer, what tools to use, and how can you land a job just within weeks of starting out. But first, let me clear out the air around what exactly is no-code. It's a type of software development that allows you to create applications without writing any code. Basically, you use a visual interface to drag and drop predetermined elements and create an infinite number of combinations as you would like. And because you can create applications without coding and the tools are just getting better and better, literally anybody can access them and create magic. Now let's talk about how to get started as a no-code developer. If you're a beginner or an advanced professional struggling with creating apps, here are a few steps you can take. First, choose a no-code platform. Just as the foundation determines the strength and durability of a building, the right no-code platform will determine the functionality and scalability of whatever you decide to build. There's a tool called Bubble. Bubble offers the power of creating super complex apps. AppSheet lets you roll out apps like a pro. Webflow can help you customize every aspect of your website. And with Zoho Creator, you can access an array of customizable pre-built apps. There are many options for you to choose from. You just need to read reviews about the tool on G2, Captera, or go through their official website. Understand their basic features and then pick the best one. Now that you have chosen a platform, it's time to learn the basics of no-code development, which is so simple that you can start building things even by just going through a couple of simple courses. You can find these tutorials, courses and even books for no code on the internet. For instance, if you're building an app with Zoho Creator, you can find courses, stay updated on new features and even ask questions within the community. Next, you build a portfolio of your projects. The best way to learn anything is by getting your hands dirty. Same applies for no code. Start building projects, upgrade your skills and see where it takes you. Now, you should think of your no code projects like your child. You should start with a small app, nurture it with tweaks and updates, and watch it grow into a full-fledged platform. Your project will speak for itself. Once you've developed something nice, create a central portfolio website to showcase your work. No-code platforms like Card or Framer allow you to create stunning personalized portfolio sites. Highlight your best work, detail your process, and offer insight into the challenges you face and how you overcame them. After building a solid portfolio, it's time to get involved in the no-code code community. There are many useful no-code communities online where you can learn from others, get help, find inspiration, and showcase your products in these communities. For example, there's a community called 100 Days of No-Code. 100 Days of No-Code is a community of creators from different backgrounds. Whether you are a student, entrepreneur, investor, designer, or content creator, it doesn't matter. They have helped 497 solopreneurs develop and launch their creations and have more than 5,000 people from diverse fields. Makerpad is another community that offers free tutorials with a progress proof file and access to their community forums. Once you have some experience and understanding of no-code and a portfolio of projects, you are ready to start applying for no-code developer jobs. And the job market looks bright for no-code. In fact, by the year 2030, the worldwide market for no-code is predicted to make $187 billion within the next two years. Showcase your skills in a practical form and through your portfolio and start applying to job websites dedicated to no-code developers like wheelofnocode.com. Your portfolio will show how you turn a blank canvas into a functional awesome app without even coding and will help you stand out. So don't be afraid to experiment. No-code 
development is a great way to learn by doing. If you get stuck, there are a number of resources available to help you. Stay up to date on the latest trends because the no-code development landscape is constantly evolving. Follow no-code blogs and websites or attend no-code conferences. Now all you need to do is just get started.